Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town & Country Real Estate. Thank you for checking out our market update for the month of November 2016. You know, like I like to do each month, I'm going to start off this month by bringing in last month's sales report for here in the Shasta County Multiple Listing Service. Now, what's great about this report is that it breaks down all the closed transactions for the Multiple Listing Service for Shasta County and it breaks it down by price range. Now, what I'm going to do is down at the bottom, I'll circle this for you in red, there were 230 properties that closed last month here in the county. Now, if you compare that just to the right, and I'll circle this for you as well, there was 233 properties last year in the same month of uh, October that closed. So as you can see, our sales are really on track for the same amount as last year. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna quickly lay in a slide right over the top of that. And what this is, is an active listings report for the county. Again, breaks everything down by price range. But down at the bottom, what I'd like to show you is that the year-to-date listings that came to the market, as you can see down at the bottom, I'm going to circle this for you in red, there were 4,715 properties that came to the multiple listing service year-to-date. Last year, there were 4,812. So as you can see, we've heard about there being a, a decline in inventory and everything else, but it's really only down by about 2% compared to last year, year to date. So we don't have a huge amount of changes that are taking place. Now, what I'm gonna do, there's about three slides that I'd like to get through this month. So we're gonna move fairly quickly, but I'm gonna show you a few other things to kind of illustrate where the market's at. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in another slide for you now. And this is the home sales report for 2016. And what it does is it overlays 2015 and it also overlays 2014. So as you can see right now, 2016, it's really laying over 2015 and it's really um, functioning similar to last year. So when a lot of clients are asking, you know, what do we expect for the market? So far, I would say that our market's gonna trend very similar to last year. So, you know, we'll probably have a very similar amount of closings, very similar amount of new listings coming into the market. Um, this slide, if anything, just kind of illustrates that point. So uh, next thing I wanted to go over, um, you know, I'm, I'm hearing this more and more is, are, are we dealing with a, a housing bubble of some sort? And um, you know, the best slide that I can find that illustrates what's really going on with the, you know, with the housing market is what's called the Mortgage Credit Availability Index. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in that slide for you now, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my best to describe this to you. Now what this report does is it tells us how much availability there was or is in terms of mortgage credit availability. Now it starts off back in 2004, and that's the line to the far left-hand side of the screen. That's where it starts. And as you can see, that's when this was starting to be tracked and how it trended up quickly. In fact, by 2016, we were at the loosest lending standards in history. And the availability to credit or to, or to finance a home was at its highest point. Now, everybody knows what happened next is we started to have a mortgage crisis and prices began to fall. And as a result, the lenders started tightening down the mortgage guidelines quickly. And by you know 2008, our, our guidelines were tightened all the way back down again, where they were even much tighter than they were ever back in 2003 and four. Now, as you go off to the right with that blue line, all the way out to 2016, you can really see there isn't a huge increase in the availability of financing. So what you're seeing today is that you have buyers purchasing homes on 30-year fixed mortgages. They're not adjusting on them, so they're fixed for 30 years at really low interest rates. So we have a very stable foundation as it relates to housing here locally and across the country with the exception of a few bubble markets. So a very good thing to look at. And then finally, the last slide I want to bring in is this is the percentage of distressed properties that are selling in the market. Now, as you can see, I mean, everybody knows about 2012, how bad it was. I mean, they reported 35% of all properties that were selling back then um, were distressed or foreclosure properties. And since then, it's trended all the way down. Now we're below 5% of all the homes that are closing or selling or, or distressed close or foreclosure properties. So it's just not that bad of a market anymore in terms of foreclosures and distressed sales. So really a, a good thing to look at. So in any case, that's what's going on here in the local market. What I'd like to do real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a screen for you now. And what this screen does is this is our seller valuation landing page. Now what this does for our clients is it gives you an ability for free to check the value of your home. And how it works is that there's a system that we have purchased where they actually will take all the sales data for a market. And then they take that data and they compile it into a statistical report 
and gives you a very average valuation for your property. So as you can see going through the screen that it's very simple for you to put in your property address and then when you, when you save your information it immediately will give you a valuation for your property which could help you if you're thinking about refinancing or if you're thinking about selling your home, or perhaps if you just want to know, you know, generally what your home might be worth. So in any case, if you have any questions at all about buying or selling a home here in Shasta County, we're here to help. I hope you guys have a great November and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.